Pirate, levitated, evil, levitated, pirate, skeleton, pirate, levitated, evil, dinosaur, sand, lost, sand, dinosaur, evil, dinosaur, sand, lost. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic and the Secret Rings. So, in the last episode, we did a lot to do with the Secret Rings. Like, we got, I think it was the last episode, we got the White World Ring, and, uh, I think we just did side missions other than that. It ended up being a 19 minute video after I did a bunch of other, I think I did like four or five missions? Six, maybe? I don't know, it was, it was a lot of missions. It, we just ended up short. So guys, next one, we're going to start off with the Lost Prologue. Uh, use down cancel. Alright. What's well, saying I have to use this for it, so I might as well equip it for it. As per usual, you know, just gonna start out videos whenever I can with the tutorial stuff. Uh, down cancel. Uh, turn that up. There we go. Now, let's start off this tutorial. Three, two, one, go! Alright, so... If you get knocked back, press the two button, and you'll flip back upright in no time. Uh just made it. No such Did I do it? <laughs> what? <laughs> but I'm confused. I thought I died. <laughs> I thought I failed and died, but alright. If you're sure. Let's beat the clock. Finish within 45 seconds. I mean, there are jokes I could make there. They are terrible, and I wouldn't. But there are jokes I could make there. Three, two, one, go! Come on. Gotta get through this quickly. Wow, that was actually really easy. I was expecting to have to concentrate and stuff, but that was... Too easy. Wow. Did I just... Alright. That was better than I've ever done on anything. So I'm not gonna complain. I mean, let's be fair, that was... That was good. That, that was... That was good. <laughs> uh, let's find the king's bones. That was my first silver rank I've ever earned. Assuming that, yeah, it must be silver. Unless that's like a, uh, unless that's like a platinum gold or whatever it is. All right. These are not the king's bones, obviously. They're not very kingly, and they also have heads. Oh, I have to find giant bones that are spinning around. I didn't even realize the collectible thing. There we go. Okay, let's just get through all of you. Go through, the, go through the right one. There we go. Did I just really finish? Okay. Uh, 
since I'm apparently just done collecting, I can just get to the end. Is that a hand? Do I have to chase the hand? No, I just have to follow the hand, alright. Come on. So did I just find the finger bones? Is that what it's telling me? Why are you... Sorry about the minor ups in there. Uh, friggin' family stuff. Come on. Alright. Why do I have to chase this thing around again? I'm confused. Oh, am I supposed to be killing it? Oh, I was supposed to hit it. I did not realize I was supposed to hit it, or else I would have hit it forever before that. Face me a direction and then face the camera a different direction. That's not how that works. Come on. Alright. I'm not sure why, but honestly, this mission is not clear in what you're supposed to do at all. Okay, I'm assuming I'm going down here. Am I supposed to go down? No. And it makes me go that direction. Okay, maybe... Maybe the thought process is that I'm supposed to jump further than that and not do the homing attack yet. Maybe that's it? I don't. Oh, no. What am I supposed to? Speed break. Speed break. Well, I'm not taking that path at all since that path doesn't do anything good for me. I just remember the fact that I could head right over here, so you know. There was no guardrail there, I instantly died.
Okay, just needed a little bit of time. Okay, that one was dangerous. Uh, timing, it's important and stuff. Also, that takes absolutely forever. Come on. Yeah, see? I think that's supposed to be a shortcut. But the problem is that that shortcut... It's not much of a shortcut when it pulls you multiple times just trying to use it. What? I'm just gonna walk all the way back and do something about this. No, apparently that's supposed to happen. There we go. Got them before they were breathing fire. So close. No, I think I need to use an ability for that. Dang it. Got back up to the king with his hand. I don't know why I didn't get the rest of him, but apparently I had his hand, which is enough. He might be some weird kind of spider monster. Possibly. I mean, who are you to judge? I mean, really, what he does with his life is up to him. Or unlife? I don't know. Landing turbo. Initial speed increases more than with landing dash. New page obtained. New mission unlocked. <clears throat> and many such spirits were driven to madness. It is my fault that they became the minions of the Eraser Jin. However, by carving up the words that make up our world, New spirits have also appeared. His power is nearly godlike. Godlike, huh? Well, that's a problem then. Even so, supernatural beings like the Eraser Jin always have weak points that are told of in stories. Huh? Huh? In truth, he is a genie of the lamp. Somehow, though, he has escaped. If we had the lamp he belongs to, it could be possible to seal him away again forever. Lamp, huh? Hmm. There is one problem, though. Returning the lost stories to their original state requires greater power than we have. It would take a miracle. Leave it to me. That's why I'm here, after all. I see. So then you are the legendary Blue Hedgehog. A great curse has been placed upon you. I can see in your eyes the grim fate that awaits you. Hey, quit staring. You're giving me the creeps. Hmm. I'm a bit hesitant to put this upon you, but... I will tell you this. You can find the Eraser Jin in his palace up in the sky. Show me that your part of this legend can come true. Thanks. Now it's time I make a legend for myself then. Hold the white world ring up to the palace gates and they will open. Okay. Thanks for your help. I sense death approaching. Well, that's morbid, and Sonic is going to die. Good for him, he deserves it. I mean, what? So yeah, we can just do more in the Skeleton Dome here. I will say though that not only is that king like 
just there and not doing anything special, we didn't even get his body back. We got his hand back. And not only that, not only did we only get his giant, weird, mutant hand back, but he really just said, yeah, uh, you already know all this stuff, it takes great power, this guy's really strong, he's messing up the world, we cannot do anything with our power, you're the legendary hedgehog, which you knew from, you know, five hours ago in the game. Uh, go to this new place! That was him as a character. I don't... I don't know how to feel about that. Defeat 15 enemies! Alright. Two. One. Those guys are all mortal, so I can't beat them. There we go. Now I'm sent to this place that has some enemies. All the way up here, with that button, and then this button. Ah, oh, crap, I made a mistake, I think. I did. Dang it. Let's see if I can pull this off without actually having to come back. Oh, come on. Wait, really? You're gonna be like that? No, I, I, hey, stop, Sonic. Hey, stop teleporting. Sonic. No, I'm not. I hate Sonic. I didn't. I've also tried just deactivating that multiple times already. Okay. Sonic, you were the worst. Also, your targeting system sucks. Can I just get to sit here? Nope. There we go. Got that stupid thing. You know what? Forget it. Going through this portal. Ah, really? Mission dead. failed. Hit the next button because I want to keep the uh, things I found. Now I don't have to get those fire souls again, but I do have to replay the mission, sadly. Whatever, it's not a long mission. We can do this really quickly. I'm, I can also make an attempt at finding the second fire soul in this mission. I don't think I saw it during the first playthrough. Oh, actually, yeah, I did see it. It's this one, the one I wasn't able to get. Right. I remember now, after my brief loss of sanity. Right. Dang it. 
don't forget. That's how you do it. Gotcha. And that's how you get that fire soul. So now that we've gotten all the fire souls. And apparently you can't lock onto either of those ones like that. There we go. Mission completed. Sorry about the lack of commentary right there at the end. Oh! I got another silver rink! Like I said, like last episode or the episode before that, I think they're about to start handing out the silver ranks because you're starting to get to the point where you can actually get those. New world unlocked and a new mission unlocked with it. Two of them, actually. I was hoping you would prove me wrong and do a third. Oh, an actual cutscene. This reminds me of the intro cutscene to the game, but alright. This is the intro cutscene to the game, but alright. what just happened. Is that sucking up the story? And turning it into evil spirits? Also, I totally just realized. Right? The graphics on this are honestly not bad for a weekend. Somehow we're up there, even though Sonic can't fly. <laughs> Looks like my time limit is about up. Sonic? Sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I'll be okay. I'm so, so sorry. It's my fault that this happened to you. Really? Don't worry about it. Just remember my promise. The promise between me and you. I haven't forgotten that promise. Why does her finger glow? I count on you, Shara. It's gonna take more than some tiny flame to bring judgment down on me. Come on, let's go. Okay. All right. I'm confused for a few reasons, but all right, we're past time on this. So I'm gonna say right now that the Razor Jin actually looks like an evil version of a character that I'm very fond of from Skyward Sword. I've not played much of Skyward Sword like up till the entrance to the first dungeon, but I know this character pretty well just from that much. I'm gonna put him on screen right now, give him a little bit of an evil purple look to him, and see if he kind of looks like the Razor Jin. You agree? You disagree? I don't care. <laughs> see you guys next time.